Welcome to the third video about MovieSlate and KeyClips. KeyClips provides editors with fast, searchable access to clips and metadata without wading through hours of footage. So your Final Cut projects can go from this to this. From MovieSlate's History tab, share its log data using AirDrop, Email, or MovieSlate Cloud. On your Mac, save the AirDropped MS log files or emailed attachments to a convenient location. Run Final Cut and select the clips that were logged in MovieSlate. From the File menu, export XML and save that file to a convenient location. Now run the Key Clips app. To import a file or to import from MovieSlate Cloud, use these file menu items. Or click one of these buttons. Or drag and drop an MS log file onto Key Clips icon or main window. Choose which MovieSlate project data to import. The log data appears in the Windows top panel. To import a Final Cut XML file, use this file menu item or click this button, or drag and drop the XML file onto Key Clips icon or main window. The clip data appears in the Windows bottom panel. Key Clips matches MovieSlate log data with Final Cut Pro clip data using frame rates, dates, and time code. Only match data gets exported back to Final Cut Pro. Start by choosing the MovieSlate project, then filter for log data kinds and dates. Next, ensure that all the log data uses the same frame rate as the clips data. In this case, the frame rates all match, but you can correct mislogged frame rates by selecting the log data, then clicking the Change FPS button. Timecode values are automatically adjusted. Then ensure that clip data uses the same date as the log data. To change clip dates, select the clip data, then click the Change Date button. The Matches column shows you what matched. If not everything matched, it may also be necessary to change clip time code by selecting clip data, then clicking the Change Start TC button. This example demonstrates keyword-based logging, which was done from MovieSlate's Key Clips tab. With shot-based logging, done from the Camera, Sound Department, or MovieSlate tabs, you might need to adjust these settings. Logged data may not exactly match the start of a clip, so you can enter a tolerance in this field. If several clips start around the same time, enabling this setting will help key clips match log shots with the correct media clip. Next, click the Export XML button to see the export options. The left panel is for keyword-based data logged from MovieSlate's Key Clips tab. Tick the left panel's checkboxes to choose which Final Cut sequences to generate for specific keyword categories. Sequences are Final Cut timelines containing multiple subclips. Each subclip is created using starting ending timecode from a matched keyword note. A sequence is created for a keyword that has been matched at least three times. Use this control to change that threshold. Each keyword in the People category is a person's name. You can choose to generate basic lower third titles, which appear at the start of each person's sequence. You can easily replace the basic title design later in Final Cut Pro. Use these radio buttons to choose how sequence events are titled. Hover your cursor over each option to see a list of its titles in a tooltip. In fact, tooltips like this are available for most of the app's controls. The multicam radio buttons determine which key clip angle to use as clips break within sequences. The automation panel can speed the round trip of XML data between the Final Cut Pro and Key Clips apps. Tick this checkbox to have Key Clips auto import XML when Final Cut saves XML to a watch folder. Click this button to reveal the watch folder in the finder. Tick this checkbox to have Key Clips auto export XML after the import. Of course, this only works when log and clip data match without your intervention. 
The right panel creates keywords for shot-based data, logged from movie slates, slate, camera, or sound department tabs. Tick checkboxes to choose which keywords to generate. Such keywords can be useful for quickly locating clips within Final Cut using properties such as roll, scene, and take. Shot metadata is grouped by onset department, so click these tab buttons to view more checkboxes. Click the export button to save a new XML file containing keywords, selects, markers, and sequences. When Final Cut imports this XML, new events are created and selected. This process is non-destructive. Your original Final Cut content is unaffected. The Key Clips event is created for shot log data and or keyword log data. Click a Categories Disclosure Triangle to see its keywords. The Key Clips event contains both matched keywords and keywords generated from shot-based metadata like Roll, Scene, and Take. Select a keyword to see all its matched subclips. Select a clip to see all its keyword ranges. These rectangles each represent a select, called selects, because each keyword has start and end timecode. Click Eclipse Disclosure Triangle to see a list of its keyword selects. You can drag selects into a new sequence as a subclip, which can speed the creation of rough cuts. Markers that were logged from MovieSlate are attached to sequence subclips and appear in timelines. Double-click a marker to view its contents or to delete it. Or click Eclipse Disclosure Triangle to view a list of its markers and keywords. Each of these events contains sequences that KeyClips generated using keywords logged from MovieSlate's KeyClips tab. Each sequence is named for its keyword and contains subclips matching that keyword. The three people events contain sequences for each matched person. The people activities sequences contain all logged activities for a person. For example, all of a baseball player's at-bats and plays. The people topics sequences contain all logged topics for a person. For example, portions of an interview that were keyworded by topic. Key clips generated lower third titles appear at the start of a sequence. To change the title's style, Click the Titles and Generators button and choose a style from the list. Keyclips exports all titles with the basic lower third style. Drag a desired style from the list onto the title to replace its current style. The title text remains intact. For more details, check out the Comprehensive User Guide available in the Keyclips app itself or from movieslate.com slash keyclips.